Hi guys, TV series and Phil Collector here. Hello, I have changed my room and you see. Oh, that happened yesterday, well this morning. But yesterday, I have a little story for you. Uh, get a drink or a snack guys, you're going to be here in a long time. Uh, I'm going to go closer to the camera. So I notice I've been watching my last vid, my new oldest vids. And you haven't been able to see them as well, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see them better. Okay, you can't see them really close, but yeah. Okay, so yesterday, I went to my local CEX at the Kingfisher. I traded in the 24 collection. Not because I didn't like it, because pardon me, I just had lunch. In the first, I'm going to pull my DVDs out while I tell you the story. In the first five seasons, there are 67 torture scenes, which is absolutely ridiculous. 37, 67 torture scenes, torture scenes, what's going on with me? in oh, that many seasons that is just that is really bad <laughs> uh that is just like borderline by you know get rid of quick uh, i'm just putting all the ones out i'm hoping you haven't seen any of them uh this is so i tried to do that in and I tried to do my Black Adder collection because it's just sitting on my shelf. I'm not going to be watching for another two or three years, and they're always on TV. And now I just want to collect films. That's it. Just films. Uh, you know, I love my How I Met Your Mother set still. I'm in love with the show. And the Big Bang Theory set. And the uh, Friends sets. You know, I still love them, and I won't get rid of them. You know, I refuse to trade those in. Hello. Just going on the shelf below to get more. Uh, I refuse to trade them in, and I, I never will. No, How I Met Your Mother's brilliant, no way. Friends, brilliant, no way. Uh, another one's... Hello. Uh, another one's a brilliant. Big Bang Theory, brilliant, no way. You know, I'd never trade them in. You know, all them I'd never trade in. Uh, yeah, so, uh, all them TV shows, I'll never trade in. Never ever. If you ever see me say that I've tried to dumb in, and you know something really, uh, something really weird has happened to me, and to call the police. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the stack in a minute. So I tried to dumb in. I tried to my Blu-rays in, apart from the 14 SRs. Mine's Spider Man Turbo get on DVD, but the others I just didn't particularly want. Uh, Yep. Uh, so yeah, I decided to do that. And uh, I have a pound fifteen. I got all these. I have I still have a seven pound fifty four voucher. And I'm gonna go back there over the weekend and get some more yeah i'm just mad on films guys uh i'm not weird i'm just really mad on films uh i now have about 190 to watch plus about 10 i've taped this is the boil yeah huge boil so i'm gonna go for these uh, but first today got a brand new pickup uh so a quick look over here yeah, I pulled all the ones out I brought yesterday. I first got to pick up 10,000 BC. Uh, from Director of Independence Day and the day after tomorrow, I got this today from my charity shop. I had a pound left. No, pound 50. I went to the shop. Got a bottle of Coke. Oh, one gave me an extra 50p towards it, so I get a bottle instead of a can. Uh, and the pound I went to my local charity shop. I found this and the disc is in good condition. Uh quite a nice spine. Covered up pretty cool and it's a film for a pound in good condition and the, the director of Independence Day the day after tomorrow. It's gonna to be pretty good. So yeah. Uh 
uh, yeah, uh, here we have, this was 35p, I'm pretty sure I remember most of the and this was the X-Files, I want to believe. Uh, you get the extended version and an audio commentary and three deleted scenes. Apparently, it contains scenes of strong violence and horror. Interesting. Uh, it's an hour and 43 minutes of prox. And it's the director's cut. Uh, 35p. Brilliant. I've heard great things about the X Files. X Files movie, mine. Uh, yeah, this is going to be fun putting them away afterwards. Ah, uh, here we have The World Is Not Enough. I think this was a pound. I, lo I love all bomb films. Can't go on with a bomb film, so. Yeah, I'm going to move back a little bit more. Not too much. Hello. That's pretty much the usual. Oh. Damn, I'm sure there was a case. A bit cracked. Uh, next we have. Uh, this was 24p. Dad told me it was good. And it's got Bruce Willis and Matthew Perry. You know, Chandler and Bruce Willis. So that's going to be flipping good. The whole nine yards. 25p, I like Bruce Willis, I'm interested to see what he'll be like in comedy, I enjoyed him in Friends, he was brilliant in Friends, uh, for a lot of four episodes, isn't it, he was really funny, and they great episodes, uh, so I thought, 25p, why not, oh man, I just realised, they giving me uh, a turnover disc, like half of the film, and you've got to get up and turn the disc over, that's annoying, so hopefully I don't get really, really into it, because that'll really bug me, but yeah, hold on yards. Uh, there's also called special beaches on there. The oh, special beaches features. Uh, it's Man 2000, and there's an audio commentary by the director and the interview gallery. Interesting. Next up, we have huh, a broad sleep in Seattle. Uh, this one is sort of the modern day version, a reunion. Director of Sleep in Seattle. Um, it's Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. You've got mail, it was 50p. My dad told me about this. It's got an co audio commentary, a trailer, conversation with Nora Ephron, discover New York's Upper West Side, 11 selectable clips, clips, two channel music only, and yeah, cool. And I'm watching Hugo at the moment. Well, I've got a pool, I'll just go downstairs. Um, I like this, I bought the first. I know the sequels are supposed to be pretty crap. This is supposed to be the best of the three sequels. Uh, that's Jaws 2. Oh, Bob loves this one. Yeah. Also, I'm not going to talk about this much anymore because, uh, you know, this was a pound, by the way, uh, because this, it would take ages. And next up we have, I have a decision to make. I had this one for 10p, but it came out of a box set, which I did not like. Uh, this was a pound, and it's two disc special editions, so you get more special features. A lot of people did not like this film. I thought it was good. It wasn't as good as the first three, but it was good. Indiana Jones, The King with the Crystal Skull. Yep. Awesome. It's a pound. Next we have 12 monkeys uh, for a pound fifty. Dad told me it was good. He has it. Um, yeah, 12 monkeys. Pretty interesting cover as well. Mine. Ah, uh, oh, next up, I watched this film recently, it was brilliant, I sort of wished I'd deleted it, like a long time before though, I said I would have had more space, but, brilliant film, uh, 90s film, James Cameron, great director, and my favourite actor of all time, Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> that is True Lies, brilliant film, Jamie Lee Kites as well, who is absolutely brilliant in this, awesome cover, £2, mine, uh, next we have, Transporter 2 and 3, there's two. There's three. It's a complete trilogy. Because uh, I brought I brought one and I wanted to complete the trilogy. I don't know my wish list get like next year. But yeah, well why not? You know, I'll just complete the trilogy. I think that was a pound. That that was a pound. That was two that was two pound. So I'll complete the trilogy now. Most of these are good bargains. Next up we have Tomorrow Never Dies. Pound. I paid a pound for all the bomb films, so not. Next we have Superman Returns, two disc special edition, 50p. Uh, plus I brought one and two, and so I just realised I brought one and two, so I got this. There was another, they had the Willy Wonka Tim Burton edition, which I really wanted. It was a rental copy, and it was like 75p as well, and I would have got it. It was a stupid rental copy. And by the way, I thought 
Oh, I picked up Guardians of the Galaxy, but I left it when I was adding up the prices. I was so sad. I was so annoyed. That's why I had that voucher. It was like a tad out. I had like a pound fifty. That's why I had the voucher. Ugh. But I'm going to go back there and get some more film. It's not a worse thing. I will get it eventually. I really want to see it. Next we have... I love Will Smith. The director of The Pursuit of Happiness. An audio commentary. And it was two pound. And that is seven pounds. My dad told me it's great. Yep. Probably a bit quicker now. Uh, yeah, this year I wanted to do a Christmas thing like FK Vlogs did. Uh, I'm just FK Vlogs. Check out her channel. She's brilliant. And Razman's Reality and Crystal Sea. All three great YouTubers. And Razor Wild Reviews. And who's the other dude I'm subscribed to? Cinema Sector C Rocks. Uh, and I wanted to get them, but with my mum's and my Christmas, mum and dad's and my Christmas films, I needed 18 and I needed 25. And here's number 19, and that is Scrooge, the film I've been wanting to see for a while. Bill Boy's a great actor, obviously. Ghostbusters, uh, Rushmore, and lo lo lots of other films. He's a very good actor. That's that. Next we have for a pound, Moonbreaker, another bomb film. Uh, we have Meet the Fuckers, who's just a uh, wordplay, which technically it's not, uh, I swear. Uh, it's, got, it's got Robert De Niro in, and Ben Stiller, and Barbara Stroys and better. Um, and, or not, 74p. Uh, next we have, uh, yeah, I found this. I was looking, I've been buying Hitchcock films a lot lately. And this is the latest addition to my Hitchcock collection. I now have two, three, eight Hitchcock films. I've ordered another tomorrow, plus the Jurassic Park trilogy. <laughs> uh, and this is Marnie. Looking forward to seeing this. I was looking for Hitchcock films. I was walking past, I saw this twice. Uh, I saw it once, and then when I had to rerun around to see it, have a look again, just double check. Uh, it was a good job I did, because I saw a lot of stuff that I missed. Really excited to watch this. Hitchcock's brilliant. He's, he's a smegging genius. Next we have, uh, I like The Voyage Home and uh, Rafa Khan, and this was 50p, Star Trek First Contact. I'll put it under F for First Contact. I won't put it under S. Next we have 25p. Die Another Day, this is a really good one, really good Bond film. Next we have, my dad said this was a brilliant film, and I got it for a pound. Samuel L. Jackson, good actor, you know, Avengers, Star Wars. Uh, I know he's in Pulp Fiction, which is probably one of the most of the roles he's done. But you know, it's, it's not a film really. Uh, Deep Blue Sea. Shark films are good. Quite interesting seeing this. It's not going to beat Jaws for me. Jaws is in my top 20 films. Oh, I highly doubt it beat it. Oh, that's a pound. Don't have that. Yeah, I, was, I have said the prices. Uh, and this one is. Uh, oh, by the way, you want to have a Steven Spielberg with me? February, Steven Spielberg week with me. February the 10th to the 17th on Facebook under the name of Jonah Bizzle. I created it. Uh, it's on the Everything film page, I think. I'll create it, I can invite you if you like, just send me a message on Facebook, invited. Or give me your Facebook name and I can probably try and invite you. Uh, yeah, this we have Citizen Kane, uh, how old is this? Oh, that's awesome work, I think it's 44. I think it's 1944. Doesn't say, but it's in game. Like a pound. It's another classic film that I have not seen. Uh, next we have someone uh, commented on my Spielberg week and said, Catch me if you can, it's a brilliant film. I said, Sorry, mate, I don't own it, unfortunately. And I brought it, and CX gave me the film twice. I put the other one in a sleeve because there's only one disc. And it won a special feature disc. Uh, the True Story of a Real Tale, put it Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks and Spielberg. It's going to be pretty good. Catch Me Can, someone told me to watch it. And, yeah, I just brought it. Next we have, B 
Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Uh, I would have got Excellent Adventure if I had it, but they didn't. They only had Bogus Journey. Uh, yeah, brilliant. I was just thinking about it, I just remember why I left Guardians of the Galaxy. It's the last add up for me and my dad. My dad was half the pile and I'd half because I couldn't carry all these around the shop. I'd probably fall and knock all them go down. And I'm so annoyed because I just remembered where I left it. It's the last add up. I was putting them all on the shelf. I'd put that one to the right or something. And just leave my speg in mind. I'm so dumb. Uh, but. Yeah, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, because I like to watch these films. I want to I wanna get, I'll get Excellent Adventure soon, but it's about four quid. But I will try to get it soon. Yeah, it looks good. 80s classic, you know. Oh, this, this one, oh no, this one was 1991, but the first one is an 80s classic. Next we have, I think this is a quite old war film. It's fairly old, it is... 36 years old, it was my 1979. Uh, that was for a minute, the sleeves got crinkled up. God, you may think I'm stupid putting all my DVDs in sleeves, but I love them in them and the protect them. And we have All Quiet on the Western Front. Interesting to see this. It was like a pound, it was like a pound. Uh, it says, I left as, uh, for war as boys, never to return as men. It looks interesting. I lot more films tend to be pretty good. Uh, Saving Private Ryan and Full Metal Jacket are probably the best. I haven't seen Full Metal Jacket, but I'm guessing. Uh, next up, last film. Uh, how how long go in? We've done pretty well actually. It's not under 20 minutes. Uh, last film is a Hitchcock one. Uh, Weird old TV made this. I have this in my wish list. What? So you and someone said uh, it's not only Hitchcock's fastest and funniest film, one of the most erotic and touching. Erotic? Is it you, you muppet? Getting it mixed up with frenzy. That is. Uh huh. Okay, that is really hard. Uh, Considering it's a you, um, I had to say it, and he said there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Or die, you see you, but it's 39 steps. Uh, been trying to get all of Hitchcock's films. It's been Disney Study Remastered, which is pretty cool. I've been trying to get all of his films. If I, if I do say so myself, I'm doing pretty well. I've got eight so far. Have I? Have I? Rive Pro Window, Saboteur, this and that. Five. Eight. I've got eight so far. I'm ordering one tomorrow, Topaz, uh, which will be nine. I need about six. I need about six more. Dialem for Murder, Rebecca, Notorious, Lifeboat, Spellband, Paradigm Case, whatever it was, and The Man Who Knew Too Much, Strangers on the Train, North by North West. Actually, I need about another 10, uh, but yeah. Anyway, looking forward to watching this. So, yeah, guys, massive amount of pickups. Uh, if I could try. Get them all my shot. And I will. <laughs> that many. Yeah. <sighs> so, pretty insane. Pretty, you know, mad. It's uh, a huge amount of stuff. I thought it would take me ages to put it away, but I had to help make your mother run. I got it done fairly quick. Which I was quite surprised at, actually. I got it done really quick. I peeled all the stickers off and I put them in sleeves. Didn't take me too long to put them in sleeves actually. I thought it was going to be like a half an hour, but it took me like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I've got a busy afternoon ahead. I'm going to watch a Hitchcock film. I don't know what one yet. I'm going to watch Hugo. I'm going to watch a Rear Window or Rope. Or Saboteur. Uh, don't know, I'll pick whatever one's shortest really because I don't have a huge amount of time today. I've got to take my mum to work later with my dad and that. Which we usually go in and help at the end. So it'll probably be like 45 minutes. Yeah. 
probably 50 minutes, 50 minutes. I would watch How I Met Your Mother, which would be like two and a half hours. Uh, I'll go out. Uh, catalog all these films on film aficionado. Got to watch FK vlogs in this video. I've got. Oh, I forgot Facebook. I've already got gone Facebook, update stuff, and Twitter and that. Oh yeah, I've got my Twitter page, Jonah Martin Broom. Uh, that's my name, and that's my Twitter. You can follow me, message, whatever. Whatever you feel like, guys. Uh, yeah, a bit tired. Got a bit more work to do as well. We're just doing like a body project. Because I'm homeschooled doing a body project. And we could do it on Madden Curie. I'm really tired. And I just got a lot resting. But hopefully I can get it done quick. And I can just come up here and get all my films on. Uh, on. You know, I'll wear them. And <laughs> watch them. Uh, I'm tired so I'm babbling. Uh, yeah, there'll be band theory tonight as well. I'm excited for that. I just whistled then. <laughs> I don't know how to whistle. That was weird. Also, did just come out. That's cool. <laughs> and this was the first 12 rated film I purchased on my own. So I went to the charity shop this morning on my own. Hey! Pretty cool. Not a very good one. I wish it was something good. Well, it's a really good film, but I wish it was something like, really cool, like um, Avengers Assemble. So, this is a stack from today. And. Yesterday, hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Please comment, like, and subscribe. All your support is really appreciated. Plus, if you want to give me money, like on Patreon, <laughs> no, I'm not like that. Especially with 15 subscribers. Yeah, I'll expect you to pay to have a chat on me. I'll talk to anyone that message me. Well, it depends on what I want to talk about. Films or TV shows, I'll chat for you for hours, but it depends if I've got time, really. Uh, yeah, hope you have enjoyed this mag. I just thought it'd be cool to throw it on the pile. Didn't quite work. Bye. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna try show these in the last shot with one hand. Can I do it? I don't think I can. It's gonna be a pretty dumb idea. Ah, please, Lord, help me. Lord, don't tell me I'll drop all these. Don't. Bye. <gasps>